YouTube, how are you doing? Today, I'm gonna show you how to downgrade Windows 10 back to Windows 7 without losing any file. That is what this video is about. Okay, if you also have Windows 10 installed and you're not happy about it, you're like, oh my God, this thing is, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't understand it or it's too heavy for my computer. I don't want it no more. The only thing you need to do is find yourself a new uh, installer that you want to install. Up here, I have a Windows 7 uh, untouched CD in here. It's a bootable CD. And what you're gonna do is just press the machine hard off until it turns off. Boom, you hear that? Boom, it's dead now. And then we're gonna turn it on. And we're gonna look for the boot menu. That's here, here it's like F11 or F F12 or F10. I'm not sure, I'm just pressing the three of them. And you see it's already searching for a boot disk. And soon this thing will boot Windows 7. There it goes. Press the boot from CD. And now we're gonna load this file. When this is done, I'm gonna get back to you. Mm. Okay. Here we select Dutch, Netherlands. Mm. So, next, install now. Okay. And here. We click, accept, next, important, upgrade. Now, you see two partitions, one from 74 gigabyte, one from 100 megabyte. We're gonna remove the one from 100 megabyte. You see that, we remove that, and we're just gonna select the 74 gigabyte. It will say it contains files from a previous Windows. That's the Windows 10 that was on it. I still have files in there that I want to use in this new Windows 7 installation. So we're going to go ahead and just install Windows. The old Windows will be copied to a folder called Old Windows. Just like the name already said, Old Windows. Even though it's Windows 10. Okay though, Windows is installed and uh, we can see that no drivers or whatsoever are installed so you will go ahead and need some drivers and because we had all drivers working in our previous uh, uh, setup we first gonna bring some icons here on the desktop gonna bring some icons here Apply, boom, alrighty, I'm gonna bring my taskbar on top, so and now I'm gonna get my files that I had in my old windows, my old windows 10, there, there it is, users, boom, uh, and this is my user account, you see that? This is the user account. Up here, I have my stuff that I had on my desktop. This stuff straight to the download folder, boom. So I have all my downloads up there. I think um, on my C drive, I also had some stuff. There it is, it's still there, I think, Rocket Doc. There's my rocket dock, boom. That one is also running. You see that here at the bottom? And in fact, this is just my Windows Charms bar. Okay, but we need to fix the drivers. And uh, you know, I'm gonna tell you a easy way how to fix the drivers. If the drivers were working in your previous installation, you know, then everything should be in old Windows. So what we should do is just go to um, to our device manager and up there just go ahead and point 
all them drivers that need to be installed such as uh, uh, the Wi-Fi and the sound driver we just gonna point point it to our Windows old folder because somewhere in there you know um, if it scans in there it will find a driver that is suitable because it was working already so the drivers must be in old windows if you're kind of lazy to go ahead and search for all these drivers that were working before you downgraded this is what you must do hope you can read it there a little bit um, what you must do is <laughs> it's very easy um, just go to the driver yeah double click it and then you say update driver and then you go browse my computer for driver and then just point to windows old and let it go do a search there you know and somewhere in there the driver is there because it was working so it needs it just needs to find the driver and after a little while of scanning it will tell you that the driver will be installed i just fixed my sound driver and uh, i also have a strange problem here even though you see that the wi-fi here you see windows has successfully updated your driver you see that's why it's good that we did not throw away the old windows yet because be besides our uh, files that we had in there we can also go ahead and get our uh, drivers back but peeps thanks for watching if you think this video was cool please like subscribe and uh, love to see you in my next video that will be soon a review about this file very old 1.7 of one what was it 1.8 gigahertz uh, uh, intel pentium i don't even know what it is we're gonna take a look at it uh, but i can tell you it runs windows 7 very nice thanks again for watching and see you in my next video